Well, I'm gonna start doing some more video vlog type things. I get a lot of people ask me about the cars that I buy and the projects that I'm doing. So uh, this is the latest one. This is my 1951, according to the VIN, Packard. Uh, I got it out of Arkansas, which it originally came from Mississippi. Let me flip the camera around, you can see it. So I haven't actually looked at the odometer on this. I drove seven hours down there to get it, seven hours back yesterday. Um, previous owner drove it up from Mississippi about eight. The owner, the guy who bought it from Mississippi said eight years ago, his, it was his father's car before he passed away. I'm thinking it was probably more like 10 to 12 years ago that they brought it up. Um, I, it's pretty much, I mean, so this is all metal here. There's only a couple spots where I think I can see any filler at all. There's a little bit here, but on the back side, it doesn't look like there's any rust. Just some pretty uh, poor patchwork. Um, so a little body work needs to be done, but I don't think there's any real rust repair that's been done on this vehicle. See the bumpers missing. I've got chrome in here, a newish radiator. Got the grill, headlights, hubcaps, beauty rings, door panel. It's pretty much like a 90 to 95% complete car as far as I can tell. Inside, hey! Uh, pepper there, help yourself to the car. You're not allowed in this car. So this appears to be all original. Some cobwebs. Some mice had made some homes in here somewhere, but I don't know what they were eating on. I imagine this is all kind of normal wear from getting in and out. But you see the headliner's in fantastic shape. So the only thing that I've seen are those couple spots where the, uh, so that's that missing door panel. This is interesting. We've got a uh, new old head gasket in here. We also have no keys with this vehicle, but I mean, look at these seats. This dashboard is just absolutely beautiful. So we've got those couple pieces where the uh, where we've got some fill work to investigate. No real rust that I can find. So I'm gonna get her vacuumed out. There's a little bit of like fill work through here on this door. I'm not really sure if I'm not a body guy at all. Um, but that door definitely, you can see has had some fill work over the years. Actually it's not as bad as, as I was thinking. It's just kind of wavy. I mean, think 70 years old. I'm sure somebody's hit it at some time. But pretty solid car. Let me uh, pull these straps off. I'll show you what's under the hood. And I'll show you extra parts and stuff that I've got in the trunk. Lily! Quick coffee break real quick. Got those straps off. Let's take a look at this odometer. I have not looked at this. Only bad thing, you can see that VIN plate. Um, this thing's been... I'm assuming restored at some point used to be what they called Corona cream. And then somebody painted it fucking half a UPS Brown. Oh, it smells fresh in here. So the odometer reads 25,701 miles. I want to say there's no way that's true, but this interior is perfect. I mean, you know, shaggy carpet. Radio's in there. It's like sitting on a damn sofa here. Beautiful Packard emblem there. I may actually believe that this thing only has 20,000 miles on it. It's got to be starter button. Now let's take a look under here. You can see right away, things are the wrong color. 
Oh, massive, massive head. So, uh, all this obviously is supposed to be green. Bunch of blocks and stuff on packets are green. This is something on the carb there. That's, oh, that's the uh, electronic choke. So, ain't got no choke at the moment. But that is a nice car carter on there. Made in St. Louis. Uh, about to check to see if it turns over. I did get one of them fancy tractor six volts. A couple cans of brake clean. I got myself a new shop back because my little bitty one ain't going to do this. Uh, suck all the nuts out of this thing. Um, hood. One nice thing about Packers doing a little research is the underhoods are black. So I don't have to touch the engine bay here at all. I don't think it looks pretty clean. As long as I can, I'm going to try to keep it a six volt system. That way I don't have to mess with any wiring. Take a look at the trunk. Oh, this is pretty neat. Last inspection sticker on it. 1977. It's kind of why I'm thinking this might actually be a 25,000 mile car. And it's just so straight. This is the one place I think they might have gotten a hit on the corner here. But looking in there, I don't think it was rust repairs. I mean, it's just so solid. A little fuel door here. Factory zip tie. And I've got more trim pieces and mouse shit in here I will say it doesn't stink dude check out that floor jack it's like a uh, an off-road jack but you can see the doo-doo brown under here that's definitely not corona cream I think I'm gonna repaint the car corona cream just to get things done right you see that seam sealer was put on there between the wheel well and the fender, but I'm happy with this thing. Happy with the price I paid. Car's condition, it's really, really hard to find things in this kind of shape outside of California. So, let me, uh, let me get her back down to the shop, do some vacuuming. First thing I'm gonna do, put a wrench on it, see if it'll turn. I'll get you an update. So this whole time this has been sitting on the seat of the Packard. I was thinking, oh, there's a brand new head gasket. Not enough holes. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one though, that makes more sense. Bob's on the right, pistons on the left. Eight of the motherfuckers. See it's bad up here. A little bit of leakage between cylinders. Guess we'll see in a bit. If that fixes it. So I'm out here going to town with a vacuum, and uh, I suck an R out of this shit. So that means, well, two things. I gotta put some gloves on, go digging through that, and that. Because obviously this is all full of walnuts and acorns, so everything's thumping going down the, uh, down the old tube there. And so I could have some letters missing, so let's see if I can spell Packard out of the shit that's in here. If not, I guess I'm going through there. Time to glove up and dive in. Boop
like surplus. Premium quality radiator cap, not anymore. Nuts. Well. A light bulb of some sort. Should probably get some uh, thicker gloves for this, but you know, it's all fluff. Fluff. <laughs> That's terrifying. This is the trunk emblem. It doesn't look broken. So I guess that's good, but man, it's full of shit and grossness. Look at those fucking spiders and bugs and shit. Ugh. The castle nut down here. Probably won't get reused, but I might even take it out of there. There's the drain holes. Got some nut. All I found was an R. Missed a few letters. And this guy, this is good news, but the vacuum wouldn't have sucked that up. So, all right, let me turn the camera off. Use both hands to get this thing cleaned up and uh, give you an update. Bye. All right, just about to call it a night here. Um, got the vacuuming done. It actually looks really nice. Brakes do nothing. Like, it doesn't even feel like it's connected to anything. The clutch does something. I hear something squeaking down there. So it's moving a thing. What that thing is, I don't know. This pisses me off so much. Fucking just sanding off the, uh, the plate. Luckily, I was able to look up with those numbers. Uh, what I have. Somebody painted all of the chrome a copper color. Fantastic. That's great. I'm starting to think it's a 125,000 mile car. I didn't think there's any way it's a 25,000 mile car, but this interior is just fantastic. Um, I did find out where the mice were eating. Small hole. Uh, small as in a uh, fistable. Ugh, getting up in here. I missed the uh, rear deck, so I gotta do that before I go in tonight. Gotta vacuum up there. But pretty soon I'm gonna sit in this motherfucker. And uh So the the trunk took forever. I found an R, then I asked if I could buy a vowel, I found an A. So we are missing uh a P a C K, another A, and a D. So like I said, I'm digging through that guy. Back here, uh, there was some moisture barrier that was glued down, I'm assuming from a prior restoration. Uh, it did good until the moisture got underneath it and then it just trapped it. This rust doesn't look like it, it's not through anywhere, but it's just whatever this little <sighs> insulation-y rubberized stuff is, that's coming up, so. I'm not a body guy, but I'm going to learn how to be one with this project here. Uh, but the floor is solid. Uh, a lot better than a lot of cars you're going to find. But the thing we're all here waiting on. Does it turn over? I went ahead, popped the plugs out earlier. They don't look terrible. I put some uh, like Marvel Mystery Oil, it's three in one oil, same stuff, different brand, uh, down in there. One of these plug wires came apart. Uh, I think it was cylinder two, which, you know, the squirrel's been chomping on these things anyway. Look at this. So, I have to find some new ones of that. That's a science experiment there in the uh, 
than that guy. But it looks like it's got a newer or painted. Actually, that's just painted. Yep. That's not new. That's just paint on the uh, Bendix fuel pump there. Let's see if I can put you guys down here and uh, turn this thing over. Right, let's try that. You're going to fall over immediately. That's all I could do, but she moves. Should probably move a little bit smoother than that with the uh, plugs out, but I don't think it's in gear. So as you guys saw, the uh, the Packard turned over slowly, but it did turn over. Um, I checked it, it's, it's still in uh, neutral. I don't know if the clutch is dragging or anything like that, so. Um, I'm done with this thing for the night. I'm absolutely exhausted. I did not sleep well last night. Drove a total of 14 hours yesterday. Um, feel good now that I got the interior cleaned up on it. Um, I may pop that six volt battery in there and just see if I can hot wire that ignition. Keys are missing. Um, just see if I can get some lights to come on. And uh, that's about all I'm gonna do tonight though. I'm uh, just about done. Gonna button it all up. Leave it on the trailer probably for the week. I'm going camping this coming weekend, so it's probably going to be on there for the next week or so. Just making slow progress here and there. It's not a, it's not a quick project. I plan on working on this thing long term. Um, first thing is going to be get it running. And then the second thing will be addressing brakes. And then I will paint the car. And after that, I'm only going to get this thing to be a nice driver. It's not going to be a show car by any means. It's not a show car quality vehicle <clears throat> so and i mean i guess it probably could be but i ain't paying for that and i am not a body guy i could build any suspension i can i can put any engine together but i'm not a body guy i don't have the patience for that kind of stuff so um do a little bit more research on like you know like this this fill work that's on here um i'll sand that down just see kind of what's going on there it feels like just a skim coat oh the other big thing that I gotta figure out is one, if this antenna is original, it's pretty hardcore or heavy duty, so I think it was. It looks like this vehicle had a visor on it. So these have to be fixed. The big problem with that is I don't really want to pull the headliner because the headliner seems to be original. Um, I'll see what kind of information I can find for uh, pulling the headliner down, but Thanks for checking out the video. Um, I'm going to try to keep my family and friends updated this way on these projects. So I don't have to explain it, post it on Facebook, things like that. You can just check out these quick videos. Thanks, and I'll uh, put it up soon.